Hey everyone, Captain Al here, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to get these perfect shaders for your Minecraft world or your Minecraft profiles. Let's get right into it. Now these shaders are called BSL shaders and these shaders are incredible. Just look at it. It is so amazing just to walk around in your Minecraft world and see the world alive. Everything just seems more alive and full. The grass is moving, the trees are swaying, the animals have shadows, everything has shadows, even you have a shadow. What's also amazing is that the lighting engine is also different, so when you place a torch, the lighting around it is much smoother than usual, as well as if you throw a torch, the lighting will light up the area as well. Now these shaders are run on a program called Optifine. Now Optifine is a modification for your Minecraft profile. It modifies the game as you play it. So for example, this optimizes the effects of Minecraft's performance. You can boost your FPS, you can also boost the render distance in the settings, as well as dynamic lights. Not only that, but it gives me the feature to zoom in on certain objects as well. People have been asking me a lot of questions about that as well. Now you're probably asking yourself, oh, that's so great and everything, but how do I download it? Well, I'll show you. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go to optifine.net slash home. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna head over to downloads and click on preview versions. This gives you the latest version of your Minecraft versions. So you can just download that straight up. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna click this download link and it will download directly to your computer. Once it's downloaded to your computer, go ahead and open it. This will open up a window saying Optifine HD Ultra G1 Preview 23. That's the preview version that we have. And if the folder location looks good, you can go ahead and press install. Now it's give me an error message because I already have Optifine on my computer, but it will give you a new Minecraft profile. Once you open up your Minecraft launcher, Optifine will be a new profile down here that says Optifine 1.15.2. You can just select that and hit play. But oh no, we're not done yet. We haven't installed the shaders. So what you need to do is you need to go over to this link right here. I'll leave a link down in the description below so you can actually download the shaders yourself. So it will say BSL shaders for Minecraft Java edition, download BSL version 7.04.1. Once you download this, it will give you a download link where you can download it. Once you've downloaded the folder, drag it onto your desktop and open it. This will have the shaders folder in it. So that means you're good to go. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna go into your Optifine profile on Minecraft Launcher, launch the game and go into options. You will find the shaders profile here. You click shaders and you will have your shaders folder down here. Now you open up your shaders folder. Now, once you open up your shaders folder, this will have all your shaders down here. And what you wanna do is you wanna drag this into here. This will give you the latest version of the shaders. As you can see, I have it right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So now comes the actual fun part. So you guys are probably asking, oh, I downloaded BSL shaders. I have everything installed, but my BSL shaders look different than the one you have in game. Well, I'll show you my current settings for the BSL shaders that I have. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into shaders, then you're gonna go into shader options. And my profile is on high with the BSL blah, blah, blah by Captain Tatsu. My visuals are ambient collision on, light shaft on, desaturation on, reflection on, and then everything off off. My AO strength is 1.50. My light shaft strength is 1.0. My max desaturation factor is medium. Resource pack support is off off, off. Then we go into post-process, depth of field off. You can turn this on. This actually gives you a really nice effect on the world. I absolutely enjoy it. It's, it's kind of cool, but it gets kind of annoying when you're trying to play some single player or you're trying to show off something in your world. Motion blur off, bloom. This is really important. You want to turn your bloom off. That's, this is one different thing that I have. Bloom should be off, and if you want to turn it back on, it should be at 0.75. Lens flare is on. This only gives you a lens flare for the sun, so if you want lens flare on, you can have that as well, but I, I choose to turn it on. 
Anti-aliasing is FXAA, image sharpening is zero, the light lens flare strength is 7.5, the same as the balloon. Auto exposure is off, vignette is on, color grading, these are all my color grading settings right here. Dirty lens is off. So my shadows, these are my shadow settings, medium, negative 4.0, shadow distance 256, on, on. So color, I have everything at the default, so you should have everything at the default as well. Now one problem that I also seen is people have been saying that my world has been looking foggy somewhat. So bloom strength is one important thing, but another important thing that you need to have is you need to have your fog off. I mean, this is kind of, this is kind of a, a self-explanatory thing. So if you want to go into fog, all you got to do is go into shader options, world, and then switch your fog off. So the sky, clouds, stars on, round sun and moon, the sky desaturation is on, water, these are my water settings, and these are my wave being block settings. All of them are on just to get that alive feeling in your Minecraft world. So guys, that is basically it. That is how you get the perfect shader settings for your Minecraft survival or multiplayer worlds. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel. I really hope this video helped you in some way so you can get your own awesome shaders just like mine. And I will see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video. Also follow my Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram or Discord. It's in the link below. Just follow them. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, hoot on.